what's going on folks coming at you with another insane glycine deal now i did the review of the glycine combat chronograph the gl1046 which had which is the exact same as this only instead of the blue it had burgundy everything on it was burgundy beautiful watch i saw this one i said oh man do i like the blue or the burgundy better i couldn't decide so i bought both why did I buy both? Because these are insane values at $199. If you saw my previous video, I did the same thing. Put it in, I, this was purchased at Ashford. Again, no connection to them. I'm just trying to help you guys out. If this is something you're interested in, run on over there. Now, again, this is being filmed mid-May 2023. If you're watching this six to eight months, a year later, I don't know if they'll still have the same deals. Doubt it. But at this time, this is what they're doing. Again, I'll give you a brief rundown. Throw it in the cart. Let it sit there for anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds like you're trying to decide. A pop-up will happen. Now, it doesn't happen all the time, but if you're patient, take it out. Do it again. A pop-up will happen. It'll say take $20 off if you check out right now. Do it. That puts you under $200 for a Swiss-made, yes, quartz, chronograph. It's, it's nuts. So let's briefly go over the specs and features. They were the same, exactly the same as a GL1046. So I'm going to go ahead and race through them real quick. If there's anything I miss, you can go back and watch that other video. And uh, yeah, so let's roll. So case uh, diameter is 42.76 millimeters. Thickness is 11.82 millimeters. Lug to lug is 52.5 millimeters. Lug width is 20 two millimeters movement is the swiss ronda 5040.d chronograph movement the crystal is sapphire and it does have ar coating underneath it has 200 meters of water resistance it's made entirely of 316l stainless steel it has screw down pushers and a screw down eight millimeter signed crown all right the running seconds uh the three o'clock sub dial is the running seconds Six o'clock sub dial is the tenth of a second. Nine o'clock sub dial is the 30 minute timer. The bezel insert is made of stainless steel. As on the other one, the chrono hand hits every marker perfectly on this watch. Okay. Um, if you don't know how this operates, a uh, top pusher starts the chronograph hand, and I dig how they have a little strip of red so that when it's all the way down, you should see the red to prove that your chrono pushers are tightened down. Place it, boom, boom. As you can see, it's hitting every marker. Fantastic, okay? Stop it, unscrew the bottom one, it resets all the hands. Comes around, all right? Screw them all down and you get your 200 meters of water resistance along with the fully screwed down three o'clock crown. Bracelet is 22 millimeters fully brushed, polished on the end, tapering down to 20 millimeters to the fully milled signed clasp, dual push button security fold over, fully milled clasp with three positions of micro adjust. The bracelet is held together with split pins. The back, it says all stainless steel, glycine 1042, sapphire crystal, 20 atmospheres, Swiss made, and the number, which it's, these all got numbers on them. I'm, I'm thinking that's the number the, the watch was made, 39817. All right, as you can see, again, blue, this is a gorgeous watch. I'm loving the blue and white on this thing. I'm loving the color combination. Blue stainless steel, tachometer bezel insert blue sub dials blue chapter ring that vintage loom date at the four o'clock um guys these are I, I can't express it enough two hundred dollars those are now cheaper than a lot of the aliexpress watches it's especially from san martin because if you want anything good from aliexpress san martin's the way to go along with a couple other brands but san martin's the way to go they're now these are now cheaper a swiss made chronograph Okay, yeah, and yes, I know the, the case is made in China. Bracelet's probably made in China, but whatever. It's got a Swiss quartz movement. It says Swiss made on the bottom. It must meet the definition of Swiss made, which that's a whole nother video. But if you want a, a deeper 
a fuller, deeper, in-depth view, go back and watch uh, my other video of the burgundy one. That'll let you know anything I might have missed here. But let's check out the loom and see what that looks like. All right, guys, so there it is. Same as the other one, the no runny seconds, just, just the indices, the chronograph hand, and the hour and minute hand, of course, are all loomed. So let me know what you guys think. Is this something you are interested in? If you are, like I said, run over to Ashford, not affiliated with them. They did not send this. I purchased this. I'm trying to pass on good deals to you. If you want a 200 meter water resistant glycine combat chronograph, go take a look. They also have the reverse panda models and all that other stuff. Go on, take a look over there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.